we shift our focus to um, uh, an, an exclusive uh, interview that uh, my colleague uh, Shivani uh, spoke, uh, that in fact my colleague Shivani conducted with uh, Ajay Dopi Hore regarding the spread of uh, platforms. Listen in. discuss more about black fungus and its spread and how can we control the situation right now here in India where the black fungus is spreading rapidly. With me right now present is Dr. Ajay Doifode who is going to explain us that uh, how can we stop the causes and how the treatment can be taken place. Uh, sir, first of all I want to understand ki why uh, such high cases are coming of black fungus. Yeah. So Black fungus or mucormycosis is an opportunistic fungal infection. That means uh, the fungus gets an opportunity to attack your nose, sinuses and other organs. So when your immunity goes down, when you are immunocompromised, which happens when you are suffering from COVID, and especially if you are a diabetic whose glycemic control or sugars are more than 300 or so, and you have been given steroids, this will push you towards mucormycosis. So the fungus is there everywhere in the atmosphere and once your immunity is down, the fungus gets uh, easy access and it starts creating havoc in your nose and sinuses. Apart from it, sir, uh, what is causing so many people, those who are recovering or those who are already going through the treatment of COVID, to get infected through this? And is there any possibility that it will spread from one patient to another? So the most important thing is it doesn't spread from one patient to another. It is only the high risk patients who get black fungus or mucormycosis. So if you have suffered COVID, if you have, if you were given steroids during your treatment, and especially if you are a diabetic, then you should watch out for symptoms of uh, black fungus. Regularly check your sugars and uh, see to it that you know you don't delay your uh, symptoms because if it's caught early then treatment is very easy other than that what are the FAQs of uh, black fungus and apart from that one more question would be that what are all the important drugs and the equipments required when it comes to the treatment right so first of all I'd like to tell you key symptoms such as nasal blockage uh, bleeding, discharge from the nose, facial swelling, facial pain, headache, uh, ill-fitting, uh, suddenly teeth falling or palatal ulcers, discoloration, these are symptoms or mucormycosis or black fungus. Uh, for this, your hygiene has to be good. So, see to it that molds and fungi don't grow on your damp walls, especially in your bathrooms, bedrooms and things like that. Please wear your mask regularly. That itself will protect you not only from corona, from also getting other infective diseases like black fungus. Uh, keep a tight control on your sugar. So, especially diabetic patients, if they maintain their sugars below 200, the risk of getting black fungus is reduced. Uh, Nowadays, most centers are subjecting patients to nasal endoscopy to pick up early changes in the nose of black fungus. Also, this scopy should be repeated even after discharge and keep regular follow-up with your treating doctors so that any variation or any suspicion can be picked up early and treated aggressively.